Uh, hello, welcome to another edition of PJ's Movie Reviews. Um, so we are going to do a review of Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. However, interesting story. Uh, before we get started, I went to the movies last Sunday. And I haven't been doing well, so it's hard to even get out of the house. But uh, we went to see The Scorch Trials, uh, the sequel to The Maze Runner. And about 45 minutes into the, uh, the movie, the power went out. So they gave us passes and uh, told us to come back. So we went back uh, today. All right, that's the only time we were able to, um, and kind of changed our mind and went and saw Mission Impossible. Okay, so the main cast uh, have my papers up here to tell me. We have Tom Cruise, which in the movie is Ethan uh, Hunt. Um, he plays, he's the main character. Um, and then we have uh, Jeremy Renner. He's um, plays in the movie, and William. He's um, he worked for the IMF, which he's is the guy that was in Avengers, right? Yeah, he um, that played Hawkeye. He's the guy that um, he ran. The, he was kind of the was, boss to Tom Cruise. Yeah, um, and then we have Simon Pegg, which played as Benji, and Simon Pegg's hilarious. He was in Shaun of the Dead. Yeah, Shaun of the Dead. Star Trek. Yeah, so um, Simon Pegg, he's hilarious. Um, and that was Ethan's friend. Um, and then we have Rebecca Ferguson, which is um, Ilsa Frost, I think you said. Yeah. She was the, uh, she worked for the British Secret Service. Well, I think she's been in as Hercules. Yeah. I know of. And then we have Ving Rams, which plays as Luther in the movie. Ethan's friend. Um, uh, Sean Harris, um, Solomon, that was the main bad guy with the white hair. And then we have um, Jen Tolton, which um, played as Jen, Jen Janik in the movie. And he was like kind of like the co-bad guy. He was the... Um, oh, the uh, kind of German guy or whatever. Yeah. Like the big um, knife. Yeah, the, the buzz the He's called the bone... Bone doctor or something like that. Yeah, he was the one that would torture people. And um, so, so that's... So what did you think of the movie? That's it for the cast. And, but, the movie, okay, it was slow in the beginning. Um, it it was slow in the beginning. Um, you couldn't see where it was going, but in the middle of the movie, it started to pick up, and it got really good. And there was a lot of action scenes, and um, like I told you in previous videos, subplots is my main thing. I hate subplots, which basically means little problems beside the main problem, and there was not a lot of those. There was. Yeah. Hardly any, which is good. Um, it just focuses the movie on the main subject, which is good. Um, and so, yeah. What I was your favorite part of the movie? Um, I don't know. I, I like it when he jumped in the water. Big two. Oh, okay. All right. So I thought the movie was really good. Um, I think it was the better out of all the Mission Impossibles. I'm not a big Mission Impossible fan. Um, but I heard good things from other YouTube, um, I guess, reviewers, you could say. Uh, so we went and saw it, and uh, I don't know what this one's talking about because it was exciting from the beginning. But him and his brother were out at the concession stand getting uh, pizzas and sodas. So he missed the first part of the plane, which is what a lot of you might have seen in the previews, where Tom Cruise is on the side of the plane holding on for dear life. And what was cool about that is he actually did that stunt. Um, there's a lot of, uh, probably some of the best uh, car chases I've seen in a while. Motorcycle chases, uh, when he was jumping the, the BMW down the stairs, there were some funny parts too. Uh, I thought the story was really good, I thought the ending was great. So I suggest you guys go see the movie, I'm sure it'll be on uh, Blu-ray or iTunes or whatever soon. So if you're not going to go to the theater, no, watch it, definitely watch it at home. Especially if you have a nice surround sound system, it's going to sound really good. Uh, so, I personally am going to give it uh, four coffee cups out of five. How many are you going to give? I'm going to give it four and a half. I like the ending a lot. That was really good. Yeah, that's never happened before. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, we only made three videos. <laughs> so, that's a nine and a half. That's really nine good. So, that means you guys should you go see it. I have to go watch it. Thank you.